and you know, there's, there were a lot of videos that have been produced recently. I saw them with atheist logic, and what they'll do is they'll show people putting things together or things that would come together out of nowhere, and it would say atheist logic. And it reminds me of a debate that Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah had with a group of people called al dahriya al dahriya uh, the, the literal translation of al dahriya are the timers. In essence, these were people that said, مَا يُهْلِكُنَا إِلَّا الدَّهْرِ That nothing uh, you know, does away with us except for time. Uh, there is no creator, there is no creator of time, there is nothing that takes place after we pass away, there is no afterlife, so on and so forth. So this group challenged Imam Abu Hanif rahimahullah because he was a thorn in their side. I mean, he was, doing, he was really just doing away with their movement altogether. So they said, let's have a debate. So they show up to the debate and Imam Abu Hanif rahimahullah doesn't show up and he's taking his time and people are starting to say, you know, maybe he's scared, maybe he, you know, maybe he's, uh, maybe he really knows that he can't debate with these people, he knows he's going to lose the debate. So Imam Abu Hanif rahimahullah, he shows up like an hour late and, you know, the debater on the side of a dahriya, the atheist, he says, you know, this is clearly a sign of you not knowing what you're going to say today. You clearly don't know how to argue with us on these points. So Imam Abu Hanif rahimahullah, he said, well, let me explain to you what happened. He said, I had to come across the riverbank. And in order to come across the riverbank, I needed a boat or I needed a raft. He said, so when I got there, I realized I don't have one. So I sat there and I watched and I waited for nature to create me a raft. So I waited for you know, a, few, a few pieces of wood, a few chunks of wood to show up. And then lo and behold, the wind brought them together. And then nails came from the bottom of the surface of the ocean. And they started to nail them together. And he said, you know, by the end of it, and obviously I'm paraphrasing the story, he said, by the end of it, you know, I was able to sail and get across the riverbank and debate you here, but that's why I'm late. So the guy on the other side starts to laugh. He says, you really expect us to believe that? He said, you people suggest that all of this came from nothing, that all of this is a matter of chance and not design. And you're amazed by the creation of a boat being from nature, mother nature. So this is atheist logic, right? And that comes from Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah. It's one thing to say that you know, there is no creator. It's another thing to say there is no designer after the creation. But things are so complex, it makes absolutely no sense. So Imam Abu Hanifa is, is addressing the simple fact, the simple logic that in order for you to be here, there must have been something before you. It's like belief in your ancestors. You've never seen them, but you know that they were there because it's, it's by the process of cause and effect. You wouldn't be here without them. Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala, he, he came up with a far more deeper answer in, in regards to the design part of it, the design piece. You know, an atheist asked him, how do you know that there is a God? He said, because of the leaf of shajarat al-tult, which is the mulberry tree. He said, what do you mean? He said, well, the leaves of these trees have the same taste, the same color, the same smell, and the same form. But when the silkworm eats it, it gives silk. And when the bee eats it, it gives honey. And when the sheep eats it, it becomes milk. And when the gazelle eats it, it becomes musk. So he said, who could have made this so diverse in regards to his production if it wasn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, other than a creator? And then he recited, Tabarakallahu ahsanu al-Khaliqeen, the verse in Surah Al-Mu'minun, that blessed be Allah, the best of all creators. So it's, it's beautiful when you think about it that Imam al-Shafi'i was able to derive that from a simple leaf, that there is no way that this, that this miracle could have come from anything but a designer. So it's cause and effect to know that there was a creator. You don't need physical evidence. You don't need to see it. And then after that, coming to the conclusion that this design is perfect, it's beautiful. So it only makes it clearer. And without the Creator, there would be no creation, there would be no explanation for our existence. What then of the beautiful signs, the differences in colors, and the difference in the diversity of all of the things around us, what then do you make of that?